Hi, I'm Ashwan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will share few tips regarding building a good LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is something which plays a very important role for your career. It might be getting jobs, it might be grabbing career opportunities, it might be networking with people, it might be anything related to your career. LinkedIn plays an important role in every individual's career. But most of the people do some common mistakes in creating the LinkedIn profile. Just treat it as an, just another social media profile. No, it is not. In this video, I will share my LinkedIn profile and show you section by section on how you can actually build your LinkedIn profile so that you can attract recruiters, you can attract opportunities. I'll show you all of this by sharing my profile. This is my LinkedIn profile. I will just scroll through my profile and share with you how to optimize section by section. So the first thing is LinkedIn banner. So it is something which will cut um, users attention when they first visit your profile. So make sure you have at least a decent design, not so even though you fail to design something like what I have created, at least a plain thing with your name and what you do, because it adds some good impression to the recruiters or whoever see your profile. So make sure you have a decent banner. So that is the important thing. At least you mention what you do. That's it. Even though they see that in your headline, but having a good banner will add some good feel. And the other thing is your display picture. So this is something which is very important and don't put your DP in such a way that you put it in WhatsApp or Instagram because it is not how it works. So the main, the important rules of selecting a LinkedIn DP is like, it should be friend facing. It's not that you, you are looking at sites and stylish posts. That is not how you put your LinkedIn profile. It is a headshot thing. So you don't need to put your complete picture there. It's like in half, half photo you need to use the same kind of thing. So make sure it is in headshot. So it should appear up to shoulders. So that is the ideal way of putting a LinkedIn profile picture and make sure it has a plain background. And the other thing is the headline. So what you write. So the headline should be written in such a way that what you actually want people to search for you in LinkedIn. So if you are a student or if you're someone who is looking for some job opportunities or internship opportunities, so you need to make sure your headline has keywords based on that. So let's suppose you are a web developer. So make sure you, your headline has keywords related to web development so that when people search for those keywords in LinkedIn, like your profile will get caught up in the results. So that is how you should uh, make sure you do that. And you can see there are two things that will appear like open to work or open to hire. So let's suppose you are a student or you're looking for opportunities, then you need to fill this open to work details. So in open to work, you need to add what are all the roles that you're open to work at. Or recruiters can see those things when they visit your profile. And the other thing is this future section. So if you have a portfolio, like if you're a student or a programmer or if you're someone, so if you have a portfolio, then make sure you add all those links, portfolio links. It might be uh, you have an Instagram profile with all your work done. So if you're a graphic designer, you might uh, upload all things in there, right? So, or if you have a resume, so make sure you upload resume under your future section so that people can easily find your resume. And uh, Or if you have a GitHub profile, make sure you add that to the future section. So future section should contain uh, mostly links that are easily accessible. So they can access all the links that they need. So if you put that here and well, coming to other important section is about. So about section is very important there. You need to write what you are actually. So your experience and what are the things that you're good at? What are the things that you have achieved so far? It's a summary of your profile. So don't copy from any other profile that will not help you. You should contain, you should include all the details that you're good at and that you have experienced it. That is an important thing about about section and experience section. So if you are an employee uh, looking for jobs, you can include your experience. Or if you are a student, you can include any internship experience or volunteer experience in there, which will add some value to the recruiter searches. And then followed by your education. Of course, that is something which uh, will not be uh, so much important, but you need to add that so that people can understand. So what is your background is? And then if you have any certifications, of course, certifications are not really important, but if you have any, you can include them in the certification section and volunteering sections. If you have volunteered in your college for anything, you can do that. And skills, it is an important section. 
because when people search for a specific skill when people search for candidates with specific skill if you have those skills in your profile it will add some value so it will allow you allow your profile to land in recruiter searches so make sure you include all the skills you can include up to 50 skills in your profile so you you can include all the skills that you feel you are good at and you can include any publications and all the stuff but uh, this is a summary of how to uh, how to uh, i can say make your linkedin profile in a very good way so don't neglect on any of the points that i have mentioned because linkedin profile is a portfolio it is your portfolio and it adds a lot of value to you i hope it would be helpful thank you for watching this video i hope it would be helpful for you and if you want someone else to benefit from this video please share this video in network also if you're a new visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you Thank you.